I'm very impressed by the reality age. I must admit, uh, I've been able to fly many different types of simulators around the world. And um, I was pleasantly surprised when I first uh, got in the reality age. There are many factors that you straight away look at. Uh, the visuals was a big, big plus. And just the setup of the, the cockpit itself, it's, it's fantastic. Field of view is the biggest thing. It just encases the, the whole cockpit, so it, it just immerses you in the, in the aircraft. And the whole idea of simulators is to make sure that we think we're flying a real helicopter, and, and that certainly uh, adds to that, that feeling. The Hexaline's great. Standing outside to start with, it's silent. I can't hear anything. As a pilot flying the simulator, it's, it's very, very precise and very, very crisp, so it's a very nice system, that's for sure. So the 139, which is what we're in now, it's a very um, complex type of aircraft and the Reality H will let us train for the more complex manoeuvres for our pilots. It will be a, a big boost to the, to the way that our current instructors uh, work. Having the simulator will allow our instructors more freedom to, to pretty much do any malfunction that the flight manual has in 100% safety. At CareFlight and many other search and rescue organisations who will come to the sim in Australia, we need to do um, scenario based training. And that's the beauty of the, the Reality H. It'll let us build the accident scene or the, the rescue scenario into the database. We'll cater for all different um, parts of the industry um, oil and gas, uh, SAR EMS, even, even private operators if they want to come. So the Reality H has all those features built in, which allows us to tailor for any type of flying that, that we need to do. It's very realistic, and if I was impressed first off, I still am impressed every time I jump in it, uh, and hopefully that uh, other pilots will be impressed as well.